What's up guys, Twitchy here, and welcome to part 19 in the Ark Server Manager videos. Today we're going over map spawner overrides. This is a rather important place if you guys are going to want to add creatures to maps that they don't normally spawn, or if you want to make spawners, kind of just adjust them as you go. Um, today we're going to be adding three creatures. I don't think any of them naturally spawn on the island map. We're going to be adding them to Monster Island or Carno Island. Um, and it'll give you guys a, a decent idea of how to do this without adding mods. If you guys don't need this video, please feel free to go forward or backwards in the tutorials. Hopefully you find something you need. But if you do need this video, hang on tight because we're going to get into it. All right, guys, so let's get into map spawner overrides. What we're going to do is we're going to come over to this containers area. We're going to hit the little green plus sign. We're going to add an override. Now, in this drop down, you have an override an add and a subtract. If you override, then the only things that are going to spawn is what you put in this override. If you add, it'll add to the natural spawning of the area. And the subtract, of course, it won't spawn that creature. Now we're just going to do an override because we're going to do a dino wipe. These are going to be the only things that spawn on the island. So we want to make sure that this is working and going from there because we're going to be adding um, a creature that doesn't naturally spawn there and isn't actually programmed in Arc Server Manager. So let's get started out. So we're going to drop this down and what we're looking for, and this is going to take a little bit of a time for some odd reason, they, they take a little bit of time to go. Um, I believe we want what, uh, where are we at? What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Is it Arc Prime? Arc Prime Monster Island. All right, so we got Arc Prime Monster Island. And we want to come over here and we want to add an entity. So we're going to come in. We're going to drop this down. If it decides to. All right, and the first thing we're going to add is an enforcer from Arc Extinction. So we're going to add an enforcer. Now, these weights and percentages, guys, are going to be a little bit tricky for you because it all depends on what that spawner actually does normally. Um, of course, your weight is like how much or how high of a priority are these things, and the max percentage is, of course, how much of a percentage of that can be this creature. So if you set these at one and one and it's a very small spawner like over at Carno Island, um, you guys are going to have you're going to be overrun with whatever creature you just set here. Right. So I start out myself with 0.5 and 0 0.005. That's where my starting point normally is when I'm adding things into the spawners. Then I let things go. I do a dino wipe. I see how much stuff spawn in there. Then I adjust it from there. If it needs to be lower because like you're overrun with Waverns, if it needs to be higher because you have like nothing spawning. So just I start there. You don't have to start there. The next thing we're going to add is going to be the Rhino Natha. And I know I probably just butchered that name. Not going to lie. I probably butchered the heck out of it. Now, I don't know where these guys normally spawn. They were released um, at a time that I actually I had stopped playing well before these were actually released. We're going to go ahead and add that bad boy in. We're going to put that weight to be 0.5. And we're going to put that to be 0 0.005. Right. Now, the last one we're going to add, it doesn't come up in any of the lists. So let's go ahead and hit the plus sign here. I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to show you. Like, you're, you're not going to find the shadow main in any of these lists. And since the update, you can see it's actually doubled down for some reason in the, in the selections. I don't know why I did that, but uh, it's kind of weird. I updated it, and now it's all like double time. Um, let's see. So that's the S's there, no shadow main. The S's here. No shadow main. So many creatures. And now that they're doubled, it's even worse. Uh, S's here. No shadow main. All right. But we can still add it. We can still add the shadow main in just by name. And its name is Lionfish Lion. I don't know why Arc names things this way, but they do. And we're going to go ahead and take this, and we're going to 0 0.05, 0 
And you guys can see there's a, a little yellow exclamation point there. That basically means that Arc Server Manager doesn't know what that creature is because it's not added in. So when they add it in, that will turn into a green check mark if they ever add it in. If not, like if you guys have mods that you're, you're running and you need a creature to add it to a spawn, you're going to see this yellow question mark a lot if that creature isn't part of the natural Arc game. But that's not a big deal. We're going to click save on this. I'm going to show you guys over here at this little save all map spawn containers. If you click this, you can actually go through and you can see all of the code that it takes to make that right there be a thing. All right. So we're going to get the test server started up. I'm going to go to another machine. We're going to get loaded in and I'm going to show you guys what Carnival Island looks like now that we've done this override. All right, guys, so we're at Carno Island. We're here to check to see if the Rhino, the Shadow Main, and the Enforcers spawned. But let's do a quick look around here. So the buggies are definitely spawning. Enforcers are definitely spawning. We just need to find a Shadow Main to make sure that they're spawning. Um, and there we go. Shadow main. Jesus. Um, so all three creatures are spawning. And again, like I said, if you wanted to just add these to the island, you would then change that to an add instead of override. Since we wanted to just make sure things would spawn, then of course we went this direction. All right, so I'm going to head back to my base place. Um, I'm going to hop on the other computer. I want to show you guys a website that you can use that will help you with your map spawn locations. And then uh, we'll call it a day. Alright, so we just want to finish up with one little tool that you guys can use that will help you out a lot when it comes to some of these map spawners and their areas. Like, Monster Island is an easy one to figure out, right? Because we know what that is. It's Carno Island on the island. But what about other spawners? Like, what the heck is dark water? Like, jungle. Where's the jungle exactly? What are you looking for? Desert mountain. Like, I, you know, we don't really know where some of these things are, but... We could find out. So let's go to a little site here on the old wiki. So it's the fandom.com wiki for ARC. They've got data maps. And if you're looking for spawner, right, creature spawn maps, information for your different map locations, this is a really good tool to have. It even has some of the modded maps. Now, I knew I was asked specifically about Fjorder. I don't even know if that's how you say it, but I was asked specifically about that map at one point in time, and I did not have an answer to that question. But if you come in here and you want to find out some of these map spawn names or the spawner names, if you have an idea of where the creature spawns on the map, um, you can actually just come over here to creature select. And let's say you know 100% that a Rex spawns in the location that you want to, to edit the spawner at. So we're going to select that. And you can see there's a whole bunch of dots here where that would happen. If you uncheck them one at a time, that takes their little markers off the map. Now let's say that we think it's a mountainous area. So we're going to go here. Nope, that's not it. Here. Nope, that's not it. Here. Oh, there it is. That's the one we want. We want this one down right here. Okay. And they're going to spawn all of these dots is basically the spawn name mountain. Right? But what if that wasn't it and you needed the Mountain Easy Gen 2? There you go. But yeah, assuming if we were actually on the Forger map, and, and again, I'm butchering the names here, we would just click that in, we would come in, and we would paste that spawner name in, and we could add in the creature that we want. Um, I believe somebody had asked me one time about the, the Rai, Rhino... So we're going to come in, bam, we're going to grab that, bam, we're going to save that out, bam. And if you come in here, you can see that that now made a secondary entry for that override. And that's the text that you get from it. So that would add that particular creature to that particular spawner on that particular map. It's pretty easy. It's nothing too crazy. Like I said, your biggest thing is going to be the weights and the max percentages. Just play with them, adjust them as needed, and go from there. I hope you guys found this video informative and at least somewhat helpful, and I hope to see you guys on the next one.